My camera is currently dangling upside down off a tree. I've come down to Oxbridge today just because I wanted to film a video, I wanted somewhere new, didn't want to go into the centre, so I came here. It's really pretty. Um, I decided to dangle my camera upside down off a tree. <sighs> yeah, that's my life. We're filming on a bench because Lydia doesn't want to stand up to film and I'm also tired and want to have a drink. So, yay! The signs and symptoms I have with association, then I go on about what it is and what triggers it. Medication that I'm on, the safety matter, causes. Alright then, bye child. It's like... Here. What's up guys? So, you know, yesterday and the day before I was going through a bit of a depressing, depressing? depressive phase because obviously everything that went on was emotional as hell and you know, it, it, I'm honest about that, I showed you what it did to me. Oh yeah, this video is not talking about that, this video is just talking about dissociation. I spent the last two days pretty much entirely out of it. Yesterday I didn't wake up until about five in the evening and then I fell asleep by nine. Just very tired on the whole. Thursday I went to speak to my GP and I got my medication increased. And then today's Saturday I have decided to come out and you know have a play about with my camera and I'm gonna hang you upside down off a tree. If this falls it's game over. So this video is about dissociation and well, on overall as a whole, what is it? What are the symptoms of it? Uh, I'm going to talk my own experience primarily. I also have a thing from DSM-5 written on my trusty piece of paper. Some of the signs and symptoms that I have with dissociation. Sometimes I feel invisible. Like I will message someone and say, do you still like me even though I'm invisible? I, I, I wholeheartedly can sometimes be in a state where I believe I'm invisible and it's it's a very complicated and confusing thing to try and, you know, comprehend. Having someone turn around and be like, hey, I'm invisible, when they're clearly not, it's a very confusing term. Uh, sometimes I get into a state where I don't believe I exist. I feel a bit like, do I really exist? And that is a whole video in itself. But the biggest thing with that was when I just wholeheartedly stopped believing in existence, stopped doing everything. I was essentially catatonic for around half a month because I just didn't believe that I believed. So I thought, it's like, what's the point in doing anything if I don't exist? I lose a lot of time. I've said this before in other videos. One of the major issues I have with association is that I lose a lot of time. Time is something that just slips away from me. And not to annoy, but I, I miss days, I miss weeks, I miss events, I miss all sorts because of my loss of time. Memory loss, major issue, major issue. Notebooks are your friend, trust me. Forgetfulness, and as I said, I tend to disconnect very them so I forget a lot. Um, so the out-body experience is essentially where I feel like I am outside my own body. I feel like I can see things out of my body even though I know I'm inside my body and it's so hard for me to explain to you what that is without like, I don't, I don't have to explain that. So the visual hallucinations is a major thing. The, the visual hallucinations are as you can expect, you visually hallucinate and I made an entire video on the first experience I had with this that I noticed. It happens quite a lot to me where I see things that like transfigure. And that goes hand in hand with my diagnosis of depersonalisation and derealisation. Items don't seem real, they see it different and my mind sometimes reconstructs it in the way that I think I see it and it turns into a visual hallucination. I don't often know if I'm dreaming or things are real, like I said that goes hand in hand with depersonalisation and derealisation. Um, I'd say one of the main things is you tend to feel like a completely different person. You just don't feel like yourself, you feel like a different person. And that's something I've noticed a lot since receiving the diagnosis of depersonalisation and derealisation. Not saying I didn't ha it didn't happen before, but I definitely started noticing all these things a lot more after that diagnosis came into play. Um, understanding is key. It is like it used to scare me because I didn't understand what was going on and now I have good understanding, I do kind of get it a lot more. I think I'm gonna stop this here because there's a lot of people now. And yeah. I 
right, I'm not gonna just stand my camera up to film here just because my tripod is broken, but I am gonna film here because it's quite nice and I like it. Um, but one of my major symptoms of my dissociation and the dissociative disorders that I suffer from is a complete disconnect from self, meaning I often don't recognise myself in the mirror. I can look in the mirror and not fully like, comprehend that it's me looking back. It's a very unreal and hard to explain, but people look wrong to me sometimes and it feels really weird it's hard to explain for me any kind of trauma sets me up with association like any reminder any little bits of trauma any big traumas Kate Morton has made a video talking about big T's little T's with Dodie and I will link that in the description down below so there's a lot of causes for this for me it's mainly high stress situations and it goes hand in hand with BPD however there are a number of other mental health conditions that it happens with dissociation is actually a normal thing it happens a lot with anxiety panic attacks stress and you know just stuff like that it's a very 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 common thing to happen. I want to give a quick shout out to Dissociate who is a channel dedicated to dissociative identity disorder. She talks about her own experience with it and I absolutely love her channel to pieces. It is amazing. So to cope with this I use notebooks. Notebooks are my best friend. Audio recordings, low stress, support from friends and my beautiful girlfriend Serenity Sky. Medication. I take the Razopam, Zococlone and an antidepressant called the Venom vaccine. Um, according to the DSM-5, I literally wrote this down for this. So. Dissociation is a way for the body to cope with trauma and high stress through disconnecting from what's going on. It's a body's protective factor. This is my video talking about dissociation and my experience with it. And now I'm going to go home because I'm cold and kind of lost and I want to edit. Well, I just wanted to say that if you are dealing with dissociation, there is definitely hope. There's people out there, there's things you can do to recover, there's things you can do to help yourself. And yeah. Um, why are you outside filming yourself? I think the thing, big thing for me to remind you guys is that safety is key and the issue with dissociation is you can, get, can disconnect and think really weird things and think that things that aren't going on are things and safety is just the most important thing you can do to help yourself. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'm sorry if at any point you haven't been able to understand or hear me. I am outside and I am vlogging and I am. I just wanted to thank you guys for the massive amounts of support you have given me the last few days regarding the trust issues and the friend issues and i really do appreciate all of your guys' support i hope you're doing amazing and if you're new here hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up uh leave a comment down below i want to do a q a soon and i want it to be about anything like you can leave any questions that you want down below and they'll be answered or you can tweet me the questions my twitter handle is life of lydia and my Instagram handle is Life Video Official. I've been using Instagram Stories a lot recently as well, so if you want to have your vote on the next video, follow me on the social media and your vote will be counted. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys soon. Every live sh new live stream will be up on Monday at 9 pm. Thank you guys for your support and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace. I'm gonna have to hit you with a paper today because I don't have a hand spare. Nice, I've never actually been this far out of central London. Uh, it's quite nice. I do like it over here. That'll work, I think. I don't know. No, because my tripod just disconnected from itself. Uh, there we go, back on. Oh, to give me peace